My first dating horror story is I used to date a female bodybuilder. Now, how do you end up dating a female bodybuilder? Uh, I used to date, I mean, I used to, well, I started off, started off dating a fitness chick and it kind of just led up in, into that, kind of progressed. But I got friends that used to play in the NFL and, you know, we'd all hang out in, you know, certain circles, you know, attract certain type of, of women and being on that status and that level, being around those type of guys, uh, we would go to workout competitions, stuff like that. I mean, they, these guys are gym fanatics and they pretty much got me uh, to the level where I'm at as far as my workouts and training and stuff like that. They really pushed me to that edge. So I, I thank those guys and I'm still good friends with them to this day. So uh, we ended up going to some NPC bodybuilding event. And it was just one particular sister, and sh oh my God, she she stood out. Uh, she didn't win. So I think she placed top five. Now, mind you, this is back in ninety nine, two thousand. This is before I moved to California, so um, so it's gonna be a little bit over the place. But uh, she at the time was five ten. 175 during her competition season and then off season she get around 200 um she this woman was a stallion amazon whatever you want to call it she was it uh <clears throat> so you know exchange numbers dates here and there blah 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 so and then it got serious okay so why is this a horror story? Because, as we all know, the world of professional bodybuilders, bodybuilding, it's fueled by, well, the results of most athletes, are, it's fueled by anabolics. Uh, you want to call it steroids. Nowadays, they got the SARMs. Uh, this was back before clenbuterol, sustenol. This is the hardcore shit. Like, Winstraw wasn't even big back then. Um, this was before HGH. Um, testosterone. It was the hardcore, legit steroid, shit out of Mexico type stuff, right? So, date, date, date. Things are cool. And I noticed she had these very, very violent mood swings. Nah, I you know. Aside from the acne... And the, the voice pitch change. She ne she didn't grow hair like you know most women would. That that's on anabolics. It's just she had a really bad, highly volatile temper. And so I would notice during her uh, during when she's in comp season, you know, as most people cutting weight and you're working out and you're eating six, seven, eight times, it's you're you're miserable. Which I get, I understood. You know, she put me up on game on in the world of bodybuilding taught me a lot you know taught me training tips that I, that I still use to this day dieting all that stuff so she gave me a lot of great insight and um so during her comp season i noticed she, she would you know the slightest things would set her off literally i mean birds chirping she get pissed and not just pissed but you know she she tried to fight me well she would fight me so <laughs> Now, mind you, when she's, you know, before she gets down to 170, she's cutting. So, she's hovering around 185, 190. Uh, so, and and I'm, and back then, I'm 5'5", five, five, might be 145. Uh, you know, I was a little guy. Still a little guy, but. So, imagine trying to fight off a woman that's probably twice as strong as you. That has about five to six inches on you and about 40 pounds on you I don't give a fuck uh, any man is gonna have trouble with a woman like that so <laughs> so yeah man she, we, we get the scrapping man and it's like <laughs> the best way I can describe it is like fighting a Hulk you're not going to beat the Hulk all you can do is just Keep them at bay. Uh, hold your own. You know. 
Now, mind you, I wasn't trying to hurt the woman. I wasn't really trying to fight back like that. So, uh, before niggas be like, ah, oh, she whooped your ass. No, niggas. She did not beat my ass. Fuck the dumb shit. So, no, I mean, at, at most, man, it, all I could do is just. Okay, all my comic book fans. The Thing versus The Hulk. The Thing could never beat The Hulk. But what could The Thing do? He can outsmart The Hulk. And slow him down. To the point where he calmed down enough and turned back to the banner. And then, you know, The Thing could do his thing. That's all I could do was pretty much weather the storm. And mind you, like I said, I wasn't trying to fight back. I'm trying to defend myself, but not, not fight back. Two different things. So, this went on. Season, comp season is usually six months out of the year. Or depending on how many competitions she's enrolled in throughout the year. So you figure for every competition she's enrolled in, that's maybe two or three months of prep time. And it was during these times when she, you know, she's she's uh, on her regiment, her, her, her ju she's juicing or whatever. And she just, I mean, get enraged. And then, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, we fight. She calmed down. You know, she starts crying. She says, I'm sorry, and blah blah blah. And I'm just like, and this is all new to me because I never had a woman try to put hands with me ever. Like, and you know, I'm learning all this shit about the effects of steroids on on a woman, and I'm just like, holy shit, what did I get myself into? Matter of fact, I'm not gonna say any names, but at one point she was pretty popular. She, at the peak of her fame, I would guess, her, that also, she got big headed too. That also played a part in it. In in us ending it because she got a big head she was on um it was a very popular tv show back in early 2000s maybe on nbc it was fear factor that's all i'm gonna say so uh <laughs> yeah so we went through that shit for about a year and uh I was going to school in Indiana at the time, so I was just like, you know what? After a while, it just became a bit much. Um, you know, this to this day, I still, I still, I still would date another another a bodybuilder in a heartbeat. Because when she's not on her shit, she's the most sweetest, genteel woman you could ever meet, and I mean, submissive. Um, docile, like a girly girl when she's not in season. Of course, she's, you know, she's got muscles up the ass, but, um, yeah, uh, just, just a sweet, loving woman. Now, you know, when she's in season, then it's all, throw that shit out the, out the window. But, um, to this day, we're still cool. We talk every once in a while in passing on online or whatever and whatnot. She's, She's back home. She does the personal training, and she's stopped competing. Thank God. But um, yeah, she still looks good, man. Um, talked to her what I think a year ago, and uh, you know, so that I, is it a horror story? Yeah, it's a horror story. I, I mean, I'm leaving out a lot, but for the most part, yeah, I would never dissuade any man from dating a bodybuilder. And the reason I say this is because. The stuff that they're on now is not as hard as, you know, talking 15, 20 years ago. Um, and for the most part, the women now, their mindsets, they understand that, you know, certain um, behaviors are not tolerated by men in relationships. So, and but the, plus, there's a lot of men that like these women that like to be dominated because they're, they're dominant personalities at, at, at work or maybe whatnot. And they like to come home and get thrown carried over their shoulder and tossed around like a little rag doll so <laughs> but yeah man that's my horror story i dated a bodybuilder female bodybuilder i would do it again in a heartbeat uh once you're in that circle man you make some great friends and friends for life uh so i would never dissuade any man from dating a fem female bodybuilder Unless you're like one of those insecure guys that's, oh, she's bigger than me, I can date a chick with bigger arms than me. Then this is not for you because obviously you have insecurities within yourself. Because at the end of the day, she's still a woman. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. Pussy's tighter than I... Shh, fuck y'all. Anybody talking bad about a female bodybuilder? Fuck you because you don't know what you're missing. So that's my rant for the day. Y'all have a good one.